name is Siri. Today I am showing you this stylized fire. You can take a stylized image in Google. First open content browser. Right click create a new folder. Name it and open it. Material. Name it and open it. In here right click uh, take a textured sample. Oh, first uh, import this uh, two textures. One is fire texture and another one is uh, noise. First uh, apply this fire texture to texture sample. Three multiplies. Now connect this multiply to here and connect this to here. Now here take a parameter. No, no, no. Take a particle color. Connect this to multiply and connect this A to this multiply. Uh, select this and in details in blend mode take a mask. In sharing model take unlaid. Now tick on the two sides. Now connect this multiply to emissive color and connect this multiply to opacity mask. In here take an add. Connect this to texture sample. Now take and multiply. Connect this to add. Here take an texture coordinate. Connect this to add. From multiply take 1 minus. Uh, now multiply value is 0 0.15. Uh, drag and drop this texture sample here. Now connect this to 1 minus. Here take an panel, connect this to texture sample. Now panel Y value is 0.9. Select this 4. Now duplicate this 2 times. Uh, I think uh, I don't need this to multiply. In here, right click, take and texture coordinate, connect this to panel. Again in here, take and add, connect this to, to add. Here, the panel value is 0.4 and this is 0.8. Now select the texture coordinate. In here, take 2. Now in here take and multiply, connect this to B and connect this A to this texture sample. Now from multiply take and 1 minus. From 1 minus take a step. Now X value is 0.86. Now from this multiply take and add. No, no, no. In here middle take and multiply. Now the multiply value is 2. In here right click take a dynamic parameter. Connect this dynamic parameter to add. And connect this add to this multiply. In here take a plane. Now connect this step to this multiply. Okay. Now you can see about the fire image is animating. Now apply it. In here now open content browser. Right click. Take an Niagara. Create empty. Name it NS fire. And open it. Now in sprite render. Apply the fire material. 
in here take a point 9 now again in emitter update add a spawn rate in spawn rate take 25 in particle update add a dynamic parameter in here click on this arrow uh take float from curve select this key take minus 1 and select this key value is minus 1 and again in here add and key time is 0.2 value is 0.4 particles spawn uh take shape location in here take a cylinder in cylinder height take 1 and uh, in cylinder radius take 45 i think they are too much and spawn rate uh, take 21 okay now we initialize particle in here take a random non uniform here take 60 and 70 uh minus 35 35 okay now in lifetime mode take random in a maximum take a 3 in particle update uh take a scale sprite size now again in here in properties uh your take gpu in here take fixed now tick on the local space now in particle update add color you can change the color to your scene environment uh like this i think lighter Okay. In now we in here right click add emitter take empty Now in emitter update take spawn rate your spawn rate is 66 Now in initialize particle here take random non uniform take 0.5 3 1 4 Again, in particles spawn add a shape location. In here take cylinder. Again here take one, and here forty five. In particles spawn add add velocity. In here fix issue. Uh, why is it not going up? Because of the uh, Now delete this. Uh, apply initial force. Again, uh, select the uh, add velocity. Click on this fix issue. Fix issue. Yes, sir. Uh, now in here, click on this arrow. Take a random range vector. In here, take zero. Here zero, and here fifty-five. In here, in particle update, uh, take curl noise force. in a frequent noise frequency take 22 and again in here click on this arrow take a random range float in minimum take a 255 and maximum take uh 35 oh uh, no 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 in here take 55 and here 155 Now in here tick on this, uh, and in here take one. In particle update add uh, drag. In here drag value is uh, two. Particle update add a uh, uh, color. In here uh, change the color uh, to. orange now 
again in particle update add scale sprite size in here click on this symbol now here now save go to third person map drag and drop the fired niagara in here play and see yes our stylized fire is ready and thank you for watching cd gaming channel don't forget to subscribe it